Hello, here are five ways to stabilise, lower and manage your blood sugar. Doctors and scientists agree that blood sugar spikes or high blood sugar are linked to disease, accelerated ageing, metabolic problems and mood issues. This is not medical advice, it's just some scientific information on blood sugar and some practical tips for you to consider doing or research further. It's actually a good idea to measure your blood sugar even if you're not diabetic and despite what people on the internet say about continuous glucose monitors, the ones that measure your blood sugar throughout the day, a CGM, these can be really helpful and revealing about what's making your blood sugar go all over the place. Plus often you can get a 14 day free tr trial uh, with one of these CGMs and that will tell you a lot. We all know sugar and carbohydrates raise blood sugar, but this is not what this video is about. And it's going to be about other factors that can affect blood sugar that get overlooked. Number one, minerals such as chromium and vanadium can lower blood sugar and vanadium comes as vanadyl sulfate. So just be careful taking multiple blood sugar lowering compounds at once. Number two, cold thermogenesis or cold plunges not only lower your blood sugar, you can measure before and after on yourself. Cold therapy also improves leptin sensitivity as in it makes leptin work better. And leptin is a hormone that controls your appetite, weight, immunity, fertility, but also insulin. So it does affect your blood sugar as well. Number three, eat your food outside with a window open without staring at your phone or having your TV on because artificial blue lights, including screens, raise your blood sugar, cortisol and insulin. And this is related to how a big peptide called POMC is processed in the presence of just blue light. Remember, we're not designed to be indoors all the time and even just opening a window a crack to let some natural light in is gonna dilute some of the blue light. Finally, number four, cinnamon can lower and stabilize blood sugar and Ceylon cinnamon is much better than cassia cinnamon because Ceylon cinnamon contains a much lower level of something called coumarin, which is a compound that can be harmful. So hope you found this useful. I'm not for one minute saying diet and exercise are not important for blood sugar. It was just a few extra things you may not have considered.